help a lot. I know them for like three years. They were there through thick and thin. So they help. When they're there with you, they're, they're just as clueless as you. They don't know what's going on either. So it helps. It, it makes you feel not alone. So when you have friends to support you, you, you push yourself even harder still. And um, like what Pan City say, being a small class, you get more personal attention oh, yeah. from your lecturers. That's very valuable. Like uh, when I went to Australia, there were 120 of us in class, and there are five lecturers, even five tutors. Sorry. So even then, it's like 20 or rubber rubber to one tutor. So that was a bit hard. Like you get like 10 minutes each, and sometimes you you just need so much time to say your things, but you don't have enough time. Whereas over here. With seven of us, you get like an hour each, and it was really good. You get to go through even the little things like positioning of door like, and stuff like that. So it, it's very nice how you feel very dedicated. Like, um, it's just it's nice. Australians are so open minded, and the, the way they teach is great, and you just get so much exposure to all these things you never thought you, 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 feel, you know about, you learn about. and. The experience that was wonderful, I, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, have no fear, it can develop because God knows I started with like, oh, what's this? But then, then slowly I started to understand it. So, so in the beginning you had no interest or it came very slow? It came very slow. It, was, uh, it took a while for me to recognize it as interest. But yeah, it, it, it develops, it grows. And one other, thing you, one other thing you need to have is Commitment. Passion is not enough sometimes because you may have passion, but if you're lazy and if you're not driven enough to, to bring that passion out there, there's no point. Your passion just dies just like that. So you need commitment. You need to understand that there will be a lot of hours being put in all your projects and stuff and you need to do them. You need to push yourself and have. you need to learn how to enjoy when even if you feel like your work is not... You, no, you need to enjoy what you've, what you've done. You need to feel that it's enough. Definitely, because I've really gotten interested in architecture. The road to that part three that she mentioned is very long and very hard, but I want to do it mostly for self-satisfaction, to know that I was able to do it. And also, once you get that architect title, it, it's going to feel so good that you went through all this stuff and you finally have what you were working for. So I'm, I'm aiming to get my architect.